like so many Irish castles, it, it went through various stages as, you know, as times changed. And it started life as a ten-pound castle. The, the John Bellew, who, um, was, who, owned, uh, who had lands in Louth, lost them from Cromwell. He, he fought against Cromwell and was banished to Connaught. Um, John Bellew was a lawyer trained in London and he worked for Lord Carlingford. But Bellew himself had no land, so um, he'd run up a good sizable bill, as lawyers are apt to do. He exchanged his bill for Barmeath and 2,000 acres. In the 18th century, they incorporated the walls of the castle to make it, in, to turn it into a Georgian house. The, there was a man called Thomas Wright, who was a sort of self-taught landscape gardener. And he came over to Ireland in 1745. He des designed the garden, which, and he wanted the lake to look like an artificial river. And then that bridge, that was a typical Thomas Wright, Romantic Bridge. You were looking at the Georgian house, if you could imagine it, that, those photographs without the towers, without the castellation. And then did you see the archery ground? Well, that, that would have been about that period, because the Irish U only came in in the late 18th century. I said at the beginning, these castles are continually adapting according to the needs of the owner. In the 19th century, um, it was changed back into a castle again because that was the fashion. And a man called Thomas Smith, who came from Hertfordshire, um, did the design. He also did a design in Dundalk was the hospital, it's just opposite the old army barracks. Rosemary and I have adapted this castle to suit our needs. We're both very keen on gardens, and so we've gradually improved the gardens over the years, and particularly that wall garden. We've gradually, every year, we've, we've, we've just gradually um, improved the gardens. Purely it's because it's our hobby, and we really enjoy creating the garden. Temple. Well, I gave my son an old battered car and I said in exchange, would he please build me a temple? And I was very worried whether the car would disintegrate before the temple was built. And I, 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 I'm very, very pleased with it. I think he got the scale absolutely right. And I think if you looked at it, you'd probably think it was 200 years old. We have functions in the garden. We had one last year. I don't think we'll have any this year. But people really don't like to blow a lot of money on a wedding at the moment. But there are other people much more prepared to um, put on weddings than we are. If people are prepared to pay and, and, and they want it, we'll do it. But I'm not prepared to turn the whole house into a wedding venue. It's very, very difficult to keep these houses as a private house and give the public unlimited access. <laughs>